tell you, we're in video now. All right, now you can zoom on my hands. Okay, can you see this? Your hands are in the way. Yes, we can see that. Oh, okay. I am going to cut this from something like this is what this came from and what I'm working on now is um, sanding it so I'm going to work on this one this one's uh, uh, somebody put some glue on it and uh, we're going to take that off and see if we can't uh, fix this stone up a little bit so what I'm going to do is use my um, my 360 wheel or 350 I don't know anyway it's a uh, um, it's about as coarse as I as I go when I, when I sand my stones uh, um, I don't go any lower than, than like 360 or 350, whatever it is. 325, I don't know. Anyway, um, and then I go to a 600 um, or a 1200 almost right away from this one. See how, how worn out that is? And <laughs> that's. That's on purpose. I, I didn't do that because I'm cheap. I did that because that's how it works the best. And so I get the water going. And the action here is to move it in a circular motion. Okay? And that gives me a dome on my... Uh, on my stone, so I'm rocking it back and forth. Joe, so can you get over to the side a little bit? I'm rocking it back and forth, but also end to end. So, so this is um, getting rocked both ways. This stone is big enough to hold. Uh, if it's not, then I put it on a dot stick, uh, in this case a nail, um, and I glue it in place with epoxy, um, and then use some anti-epoxy to uh, take it off. Um, very quick and easy. And that stick allows me to move the stone in a circular motion. Okay, so we're trying to like make a lens. Uh, I don't know if you've heard about cutting the lenses, but that's what you do is you move in a circular motion. Okay, so I can get on one side and make little circles. Okay? And that's how I get a lot of the shape to my, to my stone. And the side is done just by moving it slowly across this so that it gets a nice flat surface across there now this one is actually upside down so I'm not going to go too far but that that side is done just by moving it along this way at a sort of angle because we're trying to give it that angle to set the stone in a bezel. And so, 
I now have a dome across the top of my stone in all directions. And what... Let's see the stone against the black here. What I, what I have here is a continuous surface across the top of my stone. And I can follow that in the reflection of my light. See? That light moves along the curve of that stone and I can follow that and see any blemishes that might be apparent on the on the surface of the stone. So this is how I finish shaping the stone is with this uh, the roughest sanding disc I have. And it's not very rough, I'm telling you. It's uh, pretty darn smooth. Um, but it does take the stuff off. And I will get a... Um, get the corner along the interface between the side and the top, the top dome, by going kind of backwards. See how I've got the stone upside down? And letting it, letting the disc cut from the side up to the top. And I can move it around like that. Okay, now all of these moves that I'm doing with this lapidary, I do with the hand disc, the handheld piece too. Um, so that, what the hell was that? Uh, anyway, so that the, um, that the hand piece does this, it's as cutting a much smaller surface. This cuts the whole thing, right? You're only cutting a small portion of it with the with the hand piece. So you have to move it in a circular motion to get this action that I'm getting here with the with the quickness of this lapidary. Uh, and I can cut an opal in just uh, uh, a few minutes, really. Uh, I, I have a cutting disc inside there that, that uh, there's a 600 mounted, and I have a 260 that I cut with, and uh, that gives me the shape of these stones. I, I can... Uh, shape those stones on the metal disc and with the sanding disc I create my gemstone and the sanding discs do most of the work because uh, I go really really slow I, I am not in a hurry I don't do production work um, I, I just cut for my pleasure and for fun, basically. And so, I can sit here and sand this for 15 or 20 minutes because I'm retired, man, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I am not in a hurry anymore. And so, uh, I rock it back and forth because this has a flat spot across the top. They cut it uh, quick and dirty on the uh, on their silicone carbide wheel, and I have created that dome on there with my hand piece. I didn't do it on this thing. I did it with my hand piece. You can't tell the difference. 
because I've used that handpiece 